Hey friends, today I'm excited to show you the equipment required and the procedure for doing a pressurized transfer, from our case, a SS Brutec Unitank to a keg. My name is Britt Reed and welcome to Fire and Froth. This channel helps people cook tasty food and brew great beer so we can all grow, learn, and live well. All right, for the SS Brewtech Unitank pressurized transfer, there, there are several required items that you, you need to have. Uh, some type of spunding valve for the keg. You'll need a sanitized beer line with a tri-clamp and a beer ball lock post on that. And then you'll also need a, a gas line to equalize pressure between both the unitank and the keg. Uniform starting pressure isn't as important for a non-carbonated beer, but in our case, uh, foaming will be a nightmare if uh, we can't regulate the head pressure in that keg while we're doing the transfer. First thing we do is connect the gas lines to the unitank and the keg to equalize the pressure. I basically have a T with two separate connected gas lines running to my CO2 tank. Uh, once, once the pressure is equal between the two, then we're just gonna go ahead and remove the gas line from the keg. Next thing you do is clean the transfer line of Troub. So we've got the, um, we hook up the transfer line. Uh, it's already been sanitized. And uh, we're gonna disconnect the ball lock. And then we're gonna open the unitank valve uh, briefly, just to allow the Troub to flow out into a bucket. Then simply close the uh, unitank valve and then reattach the ball valve when complete. Next, we're going to attach the spunding valve to the keg and then attach uh, the beer line from the unit tank to the keg. Now you're ready to begin the transfer. This is where the fun begins. Before initiating the transfer, I like to place my keg on a scale. I know that my kegs weigh around 51 pounds when they're full of beer. So open the racking valve and begin the transfer. You'll have to adjust the spending valve in order to uh, maintain the flow of beer from the unit tank to the keg. That spending valve is critical for ensuring a good transfer rate. Uh, once the keg is the appropriate weight, you're just gonna disconnect the ball valve and, uh, and then Close the, close the valve on the unit tank. Now, once I'm done with that, I like to use CO2 to burp the keg. Uh, so take off your spunding valve, hook up your CO2. Uh, basically, all you're doing is taking that, that, that valve on the top and you're pulling that, pulling that ring several times just so you make sure that it's got a blanket of CO2 on top of that beer. Now you can clean up your equipment, put it away, and uh, you've got the keg that's full of beer, it's been burped. Now it's time to actually hook it up to your keyser or your kegerator and get it ready for consumption. So just hook up that gas line and when you're ready to uh, hook up the beer line, go ahead and hook up the beer line as well and uh, pour yourself a pint. Please check out our other uh, brewing and cooking videos over here and come join the adventure. Join the community, grow, learn, and live well.